Thank you for calling Gas Emergency Department. This is Kelly with Atmos Energy. Are you calling to report a leak or a pressure problem? Each day, more than 500 calls system-wide come into the Atmos Energy Emergency Line in our customer support centers reporting the smell of gas, which, thanks to a special chemical that is added to natural gas, smells like rotten eggs. But what happens once we receive one of these calls? That is the subject of this edition of Natural Gas 101. First, the CSA creates a leak order using MDSI software. That order is then transmitted to a dispatcher who determines which service technician is best positioned to work the leak order. The tech receives the information on his mobile data terminal and drives to the location to begin his investigation. Now that the tech has received the leak information and reached the location, there is still the small matter of finding the leak. I'm standing here with Clay Pate, a service tech in the Midtech's division who's going to walk us through the process of finding a leak. Clay, what is the first thing you do when you arrive at a house where a customer has reported that they smell gas? Well, Terry, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the door and find out exactly where the customer's smelling the gas. Well, good enough. Let's go see if they're home. Mr. Ball, where exactly are you smelling gas? It smells like it's coming back here from the meter in the backyard. So just back here at the gas meter around the fence area in the backyard? That's correct. Okay, well, we'll go check it out. Well, the customer has just indicated where he smells gas. Clay, what's the next step? Well, he's saying he smells it around the gas meter, so we're going to go back here and see if we can't find a leak on his meter uh, back here. So we'll go check it out. Good enough. Clay, we're approaching the leak location. What's that you have in your hand? Sure, this is our scented gold gas detector. It will uh, detect any leak that we may have. So it actually smells gas? Exactly. Uh, if we have a leak on this meter, and as I'm surveying the meter here, it would actually pick up a leak. Right here is indicating that I do have a little leak, and there it is now. So what's your next step? Well, what I'll do now is soap it out here just to make sure it is leaking there. And as you can see the bubbles, we do have a leak there. So what I'll do now is just tighten that up to repair it. There you go. And I'll re-soap it out just to make sure the leak is repaired. As you can see we have no more bubbles so the leak is, is repaired. And now Clay is using what is called a probe bar to make sure the Atmos underground facility is not leaking. Clay also has to test to make sure that there is no natural gas leaking into the customer's sewer system. The sewer is clear. The last step we perform before we leave the customer's house is we put a nice shiny coat of paint to protect from uh, corrosion. With more than 2.3 million miles of natural gas pipeline in the United States, Clay and the other service techs have their hands full every day investigating leaks along with all of their other duties. But thanks to high-tech tools like you've seen here today, we're able to quickly sniff out the problem and get our customers back on the road to using clean and safe natural gas in no time. I'm Terry Briggs with another edition of Natural Gas 101.